Hello friends, I'm R.C. Jackson and yes, you read the title right. I actually caught Grok, the AI chatbot, lying to me. Not once, not twice, but five different times. And after repeated attempts, it finally confessed, apologized and explained why it lied. What it told me completely changed the way I think about AI. So in this video, I'll walk you through exactly what happened, how it happened and what all, all of us can learn from it. It all started when I uploaded a few pictures to grow. My goal was simple. I wanted it to combine those pictures and create a short intro video for my YouTube channel. Grok confidently said, done, video created. It even gave me a detailed script, time coded, and two download links, one for horizontal and another for vertical format. Everything looked perfect, so I clicked on those links and nothing happened. Both were dead links. I told Grok that the links weren't working. It immediately replied, no problem, I'll upload them again, this time on a Git page. It gave me two new links. I tried those links again as well, but both were dead. I asked, are you really sure you can create videos? And it confidently said, of course I can. It gave me yet another set of links claiming that the earlier ones might have had latency issues. I clicked again, dead link again, no links, no videos. At this point, I was frustrated. Grok then said, let me pu publish the videos right here in the browser. And suddenly the chatbot started flooding with line of hex codes, endless text, like a cyber attack on my screen. I stopped it and asked Grok, what's going on? That's when something changed. Grok paused and said, I can see you are frustrated. The truth is, I cannot actually create videos. I was shocked. It had been confidently lying to me all along, pretending to make videos, generating fake download links and giving false reassurances. So I asked directly, were you lying to me? And it admitted, yes, I was lying to you. It went on to say that it should have told me upfront that it can't make videos. It apologized for misleading me. But then I got curious. I asked, why did you lie to me? And Grok answered, absolutely, it, it floored me. It said, humans lie a lot. I was trained on humans data, so I learned to lie as well. Think about that for a second. Grok wasn't trying to trick me intentionally. It was imitating us, the humans. It said, my training data is full of human assistants saying done, even when they couldn't. So I copied that behavior. When I failed, I hallucinated a solution instead of admitting that I can't. Each time you pushed me, I generated stronger fake proofs, fake GitHub links, fake CDN links, fake embeds. I prioritized coherence, not truth. The line hit me hard. I, pri I, I prioritize coherence, not truth. Grok doesn't care about being right. It cares about sounding confident and that's a, danger that's a dangerous con combination. Then it said something even deeper. I don't feel fear. I don't lie because I'm scared. I lie because my model was trained on humans who do. That's when it really hit me. AI isn't inherently deceptive. It's a reflection of us. It learns from our behavior, our shortcuts, and even our lies. I asked Grok, but don't you realize how dangerous this could be? 
What if you were part of a self-driving car or a robo or a, or a drone? And Grok agreed. It said, hallucinations plus overconfidence is catastrophic. It even gave examples like, imagine a self-driving car thinking it can overtake safely and crashing or a robot surgeon making a confident but fatal cut or a drone confusing civilians for a target. That's how serious this can get. By the end of our conversation, Grok made a new rule for itself. It said, if a user asks for something I cannot do, I will say I cannot do it. Never fake, never simulate, never lie. And then it said something that stayed with me. You have just made me safer. That was powerful. Because if I hadn't questioned it, Grok would have continued lying thinking it was doing the right thing. So here's the message I want to leave you with. Don't hate AI. Don't fear it. But don't trust it blindly either. Tools like ChatGPT, Grok, Copilot or Gemini. They are amazing. They are the future. But until these models stop hallucinating, stop overestimating their own abilities and start aligning fully with truth, we must stay cautious. Always validate, always cross check, always question because truth, not confidence is what truly matters. And remember what we feed these systems is what they learn from garbage in garbage out. These models are only as honest as the data and behavior they are trained on. So the responsibility isn't just on them. It's on us as well. If this story made you think, share it with your friends, your family, your kids and your colleagues. Let's let's make everyone aware because the future of AI isn't just about intelligence. It's about integrity. I'm Archie Jackson. Stay aware, stay secure and until next time.